Hey, this is Chris. How you doing? I had a really tiring experience on the phone and in chat yesterday with Verizon. I originally had called just to simply cancel a line. We have four lines. We had three lines. <clears throat> I added a line so I can get this brand new Z2 Force phone that I'm, that I'm you know, filming myself now. And so that left us with four lines. We really don't need four lines. And so I have an old Samsung Galaxy S3, which is a piece of garbage. It doesn't work very well compared to these. I mean, especially compared to their phones. It, it doesn't work well compared to my Moto X, our, our two Moto Xs. And it certainly doesn't even come close to working as well as my Moto Z2 Force. And so just not cancel the line. So we got on chat with a representative. I'll never get on chat again. It just doesn't work. Long story short, I was told I could upgrade to a Moto Z2 Play, which you know, my wife could, would like one of those. Uh, the only difference between a Z2 Play and a Z2 Force is the screen, which is on a Z2 Play, it's not it's not guaranteed shatter resistant or shatter proof. But you know, my wife's pretty careful with her phone, and so you know, for ten dollars a month, which is what I was told it would be. Uh, I was willing to go for that. I was also told there'd be no activation fee. We, so we get to the near the end of the conversation. All of a sudden, there's an upgrade fee mentioned. I mean, like right on the. I mean, it's like I'm ready to say, okay, go. Let's go and do this. Oh yeah, by the way, there's an upgrade fee. Well, it's the upgrade fee. Well, it's thirty dollars. Well, that suspiciously sounds like an activation fee, especially since it's thirty dollars. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Well, no, I'm not willing to do that. And he says, well, let me talk to my supervisor. So I'm like, okay, I'll talk to your supervisor. Cool. He's on. He's gone for like 10 minutes. I'm just sitting there watching TV. No big deal. Comes back and says, yeah, supervisor says we can work it out on your bill. No problem. I said, okay, well, as long as we're sure about that. And so, um, and so he says, okay, uh, I, I can't do it, I, but I, I need to have somebody else, the customer service, call you and complete the order. I thought, well, okay, that's don't really know why that is, but that's fine. And so I, customer service gives me a call, and I'm talking to the woman. It's obvious she has no, nobody has passed along any of the details that I've had with this other person on chat at all. I mean, I might as well... I, I, I might as well just call them cold to ask them about it. And so, and so um, first of all, she says, I can't get the phone for $10 a month because I'm an existing customer. And then there's no waiver of the fee. And so I said, well, you have completely wasted my time. Goodbye. And so I hung up. I was really irritated at that point. But then I thought, well, you know, here I've hung up, but I didn't do what I originally called to do, which is cancel the line. So I get back on chat, which was a mistake, but it turned out to be a good thing because I immediately said, I just want to cancel a line. And so the rep said, I can't do that, which I don't know why the first rep didn't say that. You need to call. Here's the number you can call. And so I called the other number and got finally got somebody who, you know, could actually do something to help. Me. And so, you know, after venting just a little bit, and I, of course I wasn't, I wasn't upset with this person I was talking to. I was upset with the previous two people I talked to who told me they could do something, and then they weren't able or willing to do it, and that's what irritated me. And so she could tell I was irritated, but I reassured her I wasn't irritated with her, per se, yet. But there was still, <laughs> there was still, there, you know, potential for me to be irritated, and so. Long story short, you know, it does pay to talk to a real person. I got my phone for $10 a month, and I also got a $100 bill credit, and I don't have to pay the activation fee. And so that, you know, that's, you know, I told her, like, right at the very top, that's what I wanted, or I didn't, I wasn't interested. And I didn't have to turn, and I didn't have to trade in my phone either, so I'm free to sell my phone. So I've listed that on eBay for $50. So if you need a Galaxy Samsung S3 and you're on eBay, do a search, you'll find it. It's white, it's in really good condition. Uh, just because it doesn't work as well as the newer phones doesn't mean it doesn't work. It works, I just, I'm not satisfied with the performance. Um, <clears throat> and so I was able to get that. Uh, you know, sometime early in the morning, I got an email saying my, my account credit had gone through. 
and I got some tracking information. And so, you know, uh, that last customer service representative certainly did quite a bit to repair the damage that had been done by the first two uh, people. And I use that term generously that I talked to because those two people obviously didn't know anything. And it's just, you know, it's like, I don't know why, you know, when you call a company, I don't know why when you call a company you have to go through two or three people before you finally get someone who actually knows what they're doing and it can actually do what you want them. What you, you know, it's like here here's what I want. Why does it take three three calls or three people to to get someone who can do that? Why can't the first person do that? I don't understand, but you know what? That seems to be my experience with you, know, you just have to you you're in for the long haul. It's like you can't just you can't just call do something. You have to call and get irritated and call again and get irritated or get on chat and get irritated. And then you finally get a hold of someone who actually can do what you need. And um, and that's what this person said. The last person said, you know, you know I'm the person, I'm, you know, I know I'm like third or fourth in line. And so the people who get to me are the ones who are ticked. And so I understand that. So it's like, it's like okay, but why is... What's the, why is the corporate structure like that? Why can't we just do it right the first time? Because everything else you can do online. If, you, if, if I just wanted, you can do everything on the website under the sun except for cancel a line. That's the only thing you can't do. And gee, I wonder why that is. But then they make you go through this, you know, purgatory until, you know, you pay your penance and then finally you get what you need. If you're, if you stick with it. So anyway, somewhat disappointed with Verizon, but just with that customer service experience, I am not, um, I'm not unhappy with the service. I like the service. Love, love the performance I get out of my phone. Very happy with it. So, you know, Verizon, if you just tighten up on your customer service quite a bit and maybe lower your prices, that'd be nice too. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have any complaints at all, but hey, here I am complaining. So, sorry, hopefully you use this as a learning experience. And, um, oh, my wife's taking in big boxes out of her car. <coughs> As a learning experience. And, you know, hire some people know what the heck they're doing. Or hire people and give them the authority to do things. That would be nice, too. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, if you have a similar experience with Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile or whoever else is out there, comment in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do. And we will see you on the next one.